love about period pieces is like what they used to wear back then. Now, from your perspective as a woman, do you think like that was like the cooler look for men? You know, like everybody dressed up, little fedoras and everything. I think it was a pretty cool look. Yeah. I mean, hats. Everybody yeah. wore hats yeah. all the time. Yeah. That's not a bad place to live. Exactly. You know. And you, and and they had you pretty nice in a period piece too. Like, how was it just playing in this in this movie and and kind of adapting like. 1940s Los Angeles, you know. It's pretty cool. It's, yeah. it's, uh, we, I mean, they would convert entire, um, entire buildings to feel like slapsy maxies. So you're walking into, like, you're literally walking back in time, which yeah. was pretty incredible. Now, there was a lot of synergy between you and, and the characters, but you and Ryan, I know you have worked worked together before, but yeah. you've also worked with uh, Rubenstein on Zombieland. Mm -hmm. How important is it to you as an actor to like have these like relationships where it seems like you're you're getting paired up again and everything? Does that like kind of signify that you made a good impression the first time or that y'all have chemistry from from before? Well, I really like both of those people. Mm -hmm. We, I, I mean, Ruben, have been friends with since Zombieland, and Ryan been friends with since Crazy Stupid Love. So I, I we all kind of got along so that yeah. was I mean that's just a comfort completely yeah. to to go and work with them and um, get to kind of hang out with your friends right yeah so the movie you know I, I know you know it's, it's, it's dealing with these vigilantes and, and and these cops that that are supposedly gangsters but it had a little bit of a comic feel too I mean there's a couple of jokes about Burbank and there's a little, little banter back and forth yeah. Is, you, what do you think it is about uh, Rubenstein's style that he's, he's able to bring out even a little comedy in a game? What are game? you calling him? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> are you calling him Rubenstein? <laughs> His name is Ruben only. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's so awesome. It's like Frankenstein. <laughs> So we gotta say, let's, let me start that question over. Okay. So, so, how, what do you think it is? <laughs> so awesome. Please keep playing with you, please. Oh, you continue. say Ruby <laughs> All right, so you, you and Ruby worked together on Zombieland, and, True. And, and obviously there was comedy in there. And in, in, in this movie, there's also, <laughs> there's also comedy between, you know, the characters and some of the jokes. What do you think it is about his style where he's able to bring comedy even out of a gangster movie you know? I think he loves comedy and is like he makes movies like Zombieland's like sort of like Ghostbusters like he makes great really entertaining funny movies and um, that's just his his thing and visually he's so fantastic too and he's just like he's one of a kind so I don't know what it is about that draws him to that but he gets the he gets the timing alright well yeah <laughs> Always great to see you to and see laugh you. with you and, and, and talk to you. Good seeing you on screen. Good luck, and uh, I'm sure you're going to have an amazing year. Thank you. Right. For more exclusive coverage of our latest news and entertainment, be sure to subscribe to our Black Tree TV channel, and don't forget to click on either arrow on either side to watch one of our most commented videos. Not everybody gets the whole song. You're very lucky.